In this presentation, we're going to see how to create a job, the related task, and a budget for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. So first we create a job, then the task. We'll go to the job planning lines and we'll end up by seeing the copy job functionality. So let's go to the jobs and create a new one. So I give it a number, it could be automatic or manual. Then I'm going to select the, the customer. Information are retrieved from the customer card. We leave the status as in order, it could be a quote. We select the job posting group, which will relate to all the GL accounts, and we pick a uh, working progress method. Okay, and we're going to put a starting date. So it should start in January and finish at the end of February. We're not going to use any currency on this job. Now let's go and create the task that relates to this job. So we go to job task lines and first we're going to create a heading. So nav supports multiple level of job task. That's why we're going to set the main task and put a few a few one to describe what we're gonna do. So for example we have first the consulta consultation consultation step and during the consultation phase we'll do a customer business process overview. So let's create a few We'll do a demonstration of the product and we'll finish by building a business case. That would be the end of the consultation phase. So I'm choosing end total for that. Then we'll have another phase uh, of analysis. I just put the heading and I can come back to that later on. Okay. So just put the headings. After we'll have an implementation phase. Okay, let's put one or two items because we're going to use it later on in this demonstration. So, okay, a bit of data migration, some training. And uh, let's create the last phase. That would be the support. And we create the last one would be to have the total of the project. So I just leave some room to allow for some more tasks to be included. Okay. And I put end total. So let's see if I'm being right, if I indent the job task, if I mm, like that. 
if I have not been consistent between all my begins and, and totals. So let's try again. Something else missing. Yep. And total. So the consultation should be a begin total. Yeah, that's a heading. So now it's all good and we see that we can indent a task. So as many tasks, as many levels as we want. Now let's create planning lines. That is to say the budget. How long we're going to spend. What is the work included and what is going to be invoiced. So first we select in the line type the shadow. We think we're going to spend eight hours and Murray is going to do it on the 3rd of January. We're not going to invoice that. And Murray will be with Mark same day. And it's not going to be charged. Let's do another one. It's still just a schedule. That's time to be spent, but we're not charging for the consultation. And she will do it on the fifth, four hours, and half a day also on the sixth of January. Okay. So that's our total. We're going to to have some cost here. If we go to the implementation phase here, we're going to ch to choose both schedule and contract. That is to say, we're going to spend some time and we're going to charge for that time. This time Timothy will do it. He will spend eight hours, so his cost and his price. Again, one more, and we'll be finished with this example. So, on the 16, he will spend eight hours, we think, to do the training, and another four hours on the 17th. So, let's do one more line to see the option we haven't seen, the contract option. So far we've seen the schedule, the bus schedule and contract. Now we've created an, a line for functionalities improvement pack. That's we deliver some, some functionalities out of the box. In addition to the standard product. And we just put contract because we choose a, a resource exists for that so we choose it. So this one is, is going to be charged but there is it's already done so there is no cost as at this point for that project included. So now we can see the total. And instead of doing that we could have used the copy function, copy budget function. So let's create another project and and see how it works, how quick it can be. So as we did before and quickly a project n number, a customer, posting groups, Okay, and instead of creating the task manually, I'm going to copy them for an existing budget, an existing uh, project. So I have a template here for time to value implementation. I'm going to copy everything from the planning, what is expected, 
and all schedule and contract. I don't put any filter on the dates or task and I'm copying everything. Okay, now if we go to the task lines, we have a full project standard time to value implementation. with all the resources. Obviously I could change a date and amend it. So here on the consultation you see we have some cost but we don't charge for it. So because as we saw before just a schedule with some cost no unit price. If we go to the analysis our cost and price are the same. It is charged as at the at a cost of value. Now, so we have four thousand to do that. That our cost and what we expect to charge. So on our contract, also four thousand for that. Now in the implementation. we charge at a higher price than our cost so we make some margin here the functionality improvement pack as we saw before it is just a contract so we have a price but no cost and if we see the total of our project our price what we charge is less than twenty thousand dollars and our costs are going to be fourteen thousand dollars and we have a total per phase implementation phase or the phases 